Hello and welcome back. <laughs> this is part two because we're doing something different really quick here today. All right. So part, in part one, I laid out all of the cards and read the first three rows as three different scenarios. Right. Okay. Um, really, really quick. What's the spiel? The spiel is I am reading each card individually and all of it goes together if you ask me, but we're doing it different today. So I read each card individually. These three cards I'll read in this series, this part, this is part two. I'll read these three cards and I'll give you one scenario for each card. Okay. That's how this works. So the way that the cards are laid out is the same way that they were laid out in the first video, which is surrender to the magic of who you are. I already read that down. Surrender to your full power. I read that down. Surrender to the habit of people pleasing. I read that down. Surrender to prayer. Surrender to divine timing. Surrender obsessive thoughts is what we'll be reading here today. And then we have under those surrender to stre uh, surrender stress, surrender to rest and sleep, and surrender to non-action. So the three cards that we're going to um, read down today will be, I mean, in this part two, okay, is surrender to prayer, surrender to divine timing, surrender obsessive thoughts all right any information that you need is in the description box okay um you can join us on patreon or in the members area here where i do um drop indie reads in certain parts of the house i drop self-care self self-love self homework um in the cellar okay on both youtube and patreon all right so now let's get into it all right each tier describes what it is that i do so i mean what's dropped there right all right i think that's it mm -hmm. now then the surrender to prayer card is up first all right so with the surrender to prayer card, I feel as though uh, many of you may have come out of a trying time, dark time, dark period. You left something behind you that um, was cloudy. I didn't see this when I was reading down um, earlier, right? Because it wasn't the primary focal uh, point. It wasn't the primary card that I was reading. It was just a clarif uh, card under the other. Now then, so um, you see that darkness behind her and now her wings are out, right? So you are realizing that it's like, I don't know what it is that you want to bring more of into your life or what it is that you um, are releasing to the point where you are surrendering the issues over. Like I've done what I can. Now it's time for me to just, you know, ask for help, even more help and just and, and tell, tell who I am asking to help that, look, I'm handing this over and I'm going to let, you know, let you handle it. Okay, and I'm going to keep moving and grooving. That's what it said. All right. There's a lot of opportunities that are available to you here in the um, the, 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 the um, near future. I was about to say the close future. <laughs> okay, calm down, man. Okay. So, you may have even been in a space where you felt like you were not connected to your guides. You were not connected to your ancestors. You were not just, you didn't feel connected or a situation you may have gone through a situation and it's like okay when is this going to be over it's been over right and it's been time for you to do this right yeah you may have been submerged in um some type of she's in water okay so you may have been submerged in some type of uh pain sh pain shame guilt anxiety this could easily be depression whatever it is you've been submerged in it well you were almost submerged in it she hip is hip with and it may be a clearing of the root chakra that is going on or things that you were that were deeply rooted that needed to be pulled up and and looked at because you got to pull it out and look at it what the fuck hmm? analyze it right and that leads me to the 90 day journey to mindfulness is available on my website as well as um amazon those are the only two places that is available here and that it, it will help you with getting to the root of issues right or noticing recurring patterns and whatnot and you will be able to create actionable steps on moving forward it gives you clarity in your clutter right it helps you you know rummage through the, the trash now then so this is a root issue, root chakra, possibly, right? Things that are connected to your lineage, things the way that your life was is not that same. It's not that way anymore. So now it's time for you to get to the bottom of things and do things in a different way. You see, <clears throat> you are reaching out for this assistance and you will feel it. Uh, many of you will have tingles in your hands, tingles in your arms or what have you, or whatever it is that, however it is that you reach. You see what I mean? <clears throat> 
the connection is there. Under that is surrender stress. So with these two cards, they have some of the same. It's like light is being brought to some darkness. Some type of truth is being illuminated here. Once you release, once you let go and release and surrender, hand things over and know what you can and cannot change, what you can and cannot do, what it's meant for you to do when it's not, or uh, what have you. You're going to realize a number of things. Things are being brought to you. Some of you may even um, go through this cleansing or clearing and, and literally feel pulled, feel, feel it being pulled out of you, pulled away from you. You'll wake up with joy in the morning. You'll wake up with some type of feeling of gratitude, deep, deep, deep gratitude, 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 gratitude. Yes. What is this surrender to prayer? King of Swords. So this may be your husband. This may be that you are going through some type of legality. It may even be that it's time for you to have be firm in communicating again. Maybe it's uh, time for you to... Um, something happened to this king of swords or you are just because uh, the way that this card fell is he's behind you right and it's like maybe there's someone that you don't know how to talk to or what to say or what have you because a king of swords can be someone who um is very intuitive uh very knowledgeable of a number of things uh someone who feels as though they are an authority in whatever it is that they do here it could be a police officer could be somebody military could be a lawyer could be a doctor someone who has um a keen sense of they follow their good a lot and they usually be right you know when they operating in a um, higher um an elevated state or space right so let's see clarify this king of swords for my beautiful people the three of swords and the devil in reverse so this may be some type of um pain heartache or grief or you are surrendering over this person or maybe you are the king of swords and you are in this space of um being an authority, um, standing in your authority in a way that you're not going to go through certain things anymore. This person has two knives in their back. They have one knife on the floor that they are holding and observing, right? Maybe you are in that space where you are on your last, you're at your wit's end with something. And, okay, let me see if I can, okay, damn, boom, there it is. Okay, we found us a spot, y'all. So, it's like those two swords, it's like, no, 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 let me get them out, let me know, like, no. I'm handing this over. And it may be a marriage. This may be a marriage where you are tired, you are done, you are fed up, and it's time for you to do something different because it's been very stressful. Clarify this three of swords, please. Yeah. Communication or waiting for some type of change or maybe you will see some type of change. Maybe the passion is returned to the relationship after feeling um, disappointed, right? Or maybe there's some type of bereavement. Three of Cups. This is reconciliation. Some type of communication coming in with, and reconciling. Someone is coming out of devil energy, obsessive energy, um, playing games or something like that. They're coming out of that. What is this surrender to uh, stress for these people? The Four of Cups. Let go of dis disappointments, right? No need to mull over them. No need to uh, be so stuck and stagnant because this is stagnant water in his head. And you know stagnant water brings stagnant energies. They need to go on about their damn business. You hear me? But um, that, that stagnant water has a lot to do with things that it's time for you to release and let go. It's just... Um, been sitting there in your body, sitting there in your mind, sitting there in space and not doing anything. It's not flowing. It's not doing anything. The only way it will flow is if you let it go. You know what I mean? All right, let's go to the next card. Surrender to divine timing. And that could be your throat chakra. Maybe you are waiting to communicate with someone or uh, waiting for some type of communication. The, the surrender to divine timing says sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. So you may have even gone into hermit mode right here. So this is card two, situation two. So you may have gone into hermit mode, right? And... Um, and it's not because you wanted to, okay? It's because you needed to be pulled back, right? And I think I said that in the first read. But with the throat chakra is what is popping out at this time. This may be a time when you are being worked on and working through something else. See, that's how it goes. A lot of times you can have something big that you want to do or meant to do or whatever it is, right? Or something that you just, a goal that you want to accomplish or something that you want to attain. And what happens is they pull you back because it's not time. There are other things that need to be worked out. But this time, um, this is different from what I said in the first part. This time it may be that there are some things that you haven't given attention to that need your attention that will be required for this next level, you see. Uh, so Surrender to uh, rest and sleep is following that. 
And many of you are just lying around in bed or lying around or just sitting, sitting, right? You, you can't sleep. Maybe you have insomnia. Maybe you are still thinking about, like, why is um, why are things happening to keep me from doing this one thing? Because it's probably meant for you to pay attention to something else. Hello, people. You saw them. Now, there's something here with that surrender to rest and sleep. Uh, where they want you to slow down. They want you, you may, you don't want to be burnt out, right? Take some time out. Looks, empath life. Take some time out to really honor your need for quiet time. Honor your need to, you know, listen and wait for instruction. And and again, I know I've mentioned this before about how the spirit likes when you get your rest, right? You operate when your cup is full, right? That's one of the ways that we fill our cup. But the thing is that if you are always grounded and the spirit can get really, really um, weighed down by this world in the first place, right? And especially if you're not using your imagination or not using your creative, uh, your creativity, mm, you're a creatrix. All right. So it's important for you to rejuvenate your mind, body, and your spirit. The spirit likes to go out and play, go, likes to go out and learn stuff, likes to go out and get stuff so that you can come back. Because a lot of times you can be blocked in a certain way. But when the spirit goes out to play, it brings some things back. It brings you information. It, like, damn, if she just carry her ass to sleep, if he just carry his ass to sleep, I can go to the mystery school. I'm late for mystery school. You ain't let your spirit go to mystery school in forever. The fuck is you doing? Move forward. Let's clarify. What is this surrender to divine timing? Four swords in the reverse. Okay, it's in the upright. Whatever. Uh, it's in the upright. So this is you needing to take a time, take some time out to really sit and and reevaluate whatever it is that you've gone through that um, probably caused any type of. Um, confusion, any type of pain, grief, heartache, whatever the three of swords means to you, mental confusion, uh, physical confusion that was caused by mental confusion um, or by another person, whatever it is with this three of swords, right? So they want you to really just, I mean, this four of swords, um, sit back so that you'll know what it is that needs to uh, be completed at this time until it's time for you to move forward. Clarify this four of swords. Look at that. I told you ass. Ten of Wands. You got to let something go. It's time for you to release yourself with some type of baggage. Something. Some noun can't go forward with you. When people show you who they are, believe them. Okay? If you have a bad vibe or every time you go to a place and that's what's, like, that's going on, but some other good stuff might have happened, but at the end of the day, you, you kind of already saw very early on going to this space that this ain't going to work out too well. It bothers my spirit. But I ain't going to let my spirit rest. You need to. With that Ten of Wands, that's why you need to take some time out. Because you are releasing a lot of things, a lot of burdens. You are releasing a lot of um, heavy weight. Weight that is not yours. You are, And watch, you probably lose weight around that time. Because that's what happens. You lose weight, water weight. Um, wherever you are holding a lot of emotional energy begins to go away or um, dissipate. <laughs> Ooh, a big word. <laughs> I like it. Now then, what is this surrender to rest and sleep for these folks, Chair? Eight of Cups. No, but you got to walk away for it. Look at her thinking. This, I like this girl, okay? She is thinking. Her eyes are hollowed out because she needs to rest, and rest so she'll know what it is that she needs to walk away from in order for her to walk toward where she can feel her cups in this material life. The Ace of Pentacles. You got to walk away from something to get something, they said. What you going to do? Barbecue stew a meal do, baby. Yeah. Temperance. Temperance, the sun card, and the three of swords in the reverse. So you got to, this is doing things in a way that, this is doing things in moderation, right? But overall, this is um, coming in in order for you to temper yourself overall. Like this is an overhaul. You see what I mean? Because you may have been dealing with someone here or some situation that it just didn't seem light. It didn't seem like there was any light in the situation. Like there's no light. If the sun is in reverse, that means that it's in another part of town. The sun is not giving you and shining down on you the way that it needs to. It hasn't been able to rise the way that you need it to. It hasn't been able to um, um, give, the, the, give the plants or you. You can't get no vitamin D from the sun. <laughs> oh, shit. It's, kind of, it's probably going to be painful for you to um, leave the sun behind. Okay? Uh, many of you may have been hearing or listening to music and all of a sudden, or maybe you are in situations where music, when you hear certain music, it sounds really, really weird. Maybe you get headaches and shit like that. Whatever it is, walk away. Because temperance is here. This is a strong indication of um, 
divine intervention or something that you are learning that has to do with um, when you pour into situations, what does that do to you? You may have been pouring into situations that wouldn't allow for you to be you, allow for a new beginning. You were pouring into situations from this, this ace of spades. He got his ass on that man's head, chair. But you probably felt weighed down or something like that. But his back is open. This is a power struggle. Maybe there was some type of power struggle. Because I'm looking at the way that his, his little bony legs um, is doing right there. Okay. Now then, let's move to the next card. <laughs> Surrender obsessive thinking and that's the bitch with the apple hoe. All right, the bitch with the apple is in the building Okay, now surrender obsessive thinking has surrender to none action under it. And here's the thing If you are overthinking any type of situation or oh, and thinking overthinking anything at all What is the solution for that? If you are overthinking or obsessing over anything at any point in time, what is the solution for that? Um, I feel as though your vision, you're not, you, you, I don't know how you got in this space, but your vision may not be very clear, right? I um, mean, that's an indication that you're off track when your vision isn't very clear. Um, it can be, uh, um, that can, that's what it can be, but it's like, you may be doing a lot of things and, and trying to, uh, like, you know how sometimes people think that, um, we don't, you don't have enough time. It's not enough time in a day. Like I've said it before, but I, I, I get how it works. You know what I mean? But with this, when it comes to this, it's like um, you need to, it's, it's important to remember um, your vision. Maybe there is something with your actual vision that has been going on. Or maybe there, um, don't take what's not for you, you hear me? But maybe there is something that you just haven't been seeing clearly, but you've been trying to make yourself see something clearly that's not really, you, like, if you've been, if you, if you haven't figured it out by now, you need to surrender that over. Like, okay, whatever else I need, show me what it is I need to see. Whatever it is that I need to do, show me what I need to do in this situation that's going on. And that's why they got this surrender to non-action, which says now is the time to be still and not act and, and let people come to you. You see what I mean? Clarify this uh, surrender obsessive thinking, honey. Then it's two cards. Protecting yourself. They say that you're getting intuitive information. is telling you that you need to stand on guard, right? Protect the gate. Protect your home. Put cameras up or whatever. It's something like that. But um, with that seven of wands, right? This has a lot to do with, like, you may be obsessing over if you are protected. If you are standing on your ten. If you, um, if you, um, if you are in a space where you don't have to worry about this, that, and the other. It's on you with this high priestess card. Something is being revealed to you or will be if you just calm the fuck down. What are you even doing? What is this uh, seven of wands and a high priestess? A page of cups. Then maybe you're waiting for some type of message or waiting for something something to move forward. Waiting for um, to feel like moving forward. Maybe you haven't cooked in a while. Go cook. Cook something. Shit, cook me something. Now then, with this page of cups, I also feel that... Um, Maybe you're obsessing over your children. Are your children protected? Now, you're going to stand on it and find out, okay? If they are under the age of, um, I'd say 18 at this point, because I was going to say 21, right? With this uh, page of cups, a page is a young uh, um, person, right? Clarify these three cards. Maybe you read something and it got you tripped out like that. But overall, um, I feel like you know exactly what is going on, but you may be going back and forth with yourself. And that's not you because you got other shit to do. So why are you going back and forth with yourself like that? Ask yourself that. I don't have to ask you that. So let's pull a conversation card for you guys, okay? And see um, what a good question would be to get you out of these obsessive thoughts. What is a good question that they can ask themselves or the person that they are trying to communicate with? What would be a good question, honey? What story about your life is most important to you? Look at them. They just in there, ain't it? What story about your life is most important to you? And the other side of this, it says, what's the first line of your autobiography? There. Obsess over that shit. It's productive. Okay? The fuck are you doing? All right. I'm going to stop cussing at y'all because it's just not right. Now, I'm going to go and do part three of this really quick. Okay? One, two. Ooh, two down, one to go. All right. Um, that's what I didn't say at the beginning. Make sure that you um, 
check for new videos on the channel because YouTube hasn't been sending y'all y'all notifications. But I know for sure it's a go. It's a lot of information y'all probably ain't seen in a long time. I've been going down up and through there for months on end. And y'all coming over here to me. I ain't seen you in forever. Baby, I ain't seen you. The fuck it? What? Let's talk about it. All right? All right. I love y'all. And I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.